Hey everyone, today the React team launched React.dev, which is the new home for React and its documentation. As someone who learned React primarily from the docs, I can say that the React docs were already excellent, and this new site is even better. I'm excited to share this with you because this channel is the one-stop shop for React, and it's my duty to keep you informed about important updates like this. I want to take a couple of minutes to talk about what I love about the new site, what surprised me, and what it means for the React series on this channel. Firstly, I absolutely love that the new site is packed with diagrams, illustrations, and over 600 new interactive examples. If you know me, you know that I am a huge fan of visualizing concepts and forming mental models, and the new docs really resonate with that idea. I'm also excited that React is now being taught with hooks from the beginning. The old documentation assumed that the reader was familiar with class components, which made it challenging for new readers to learn React twice, once with class components and then again with hooks. With the new docs, you're now learning React the way it's meant to be learned. Now, one thing that surprised me about the new doc site is that the starting a new project section has no mention of Create React App. Sure, the last published date was almost a year ago, and there has been quite a bit of discussion around this topic, but I did not expect Create React App not to be mentioned at all. The docs recommend frameworks, but personally, I feel using a framework like Next or Remix is not the best way to start your React journey. I recommend using Wheat, and it is what I will be using for content on other libraries in the React ecosystem on this channel for the foreseeable future. Speaking of content on this channel, I have been for quite some time now considering creating a completely new and updated React series. Although the existing series covers everything you need as a React developer, I feel that it's a longer path than necessary for someone just starting out. Creating a new series that is more in line with the docs would be great. The only concern I have is that it may push back some of the other content I have planned, so I need to think about it carefully. But let me know what you think. Are you interested in Node plus Express, React Native, TypeScript, Remix, etc., or a revamped series on React? Please pick one and let me know your preference in the comments section. Thank you, as always, for your continued support, and I hope this channel will one day truly become recognized as the one-stop shop for React.